By the end of this video, you will be able to convert an audio file to MIDI within the music software FL Studio. Let's get started. So I've got a project that I'm working on in FL Studio. Now this will work with any audio file that you want to convert to MIDI notes. So anything like a WAV file or an MP3 file. So there are a couple things that you want to prepare before you convert your audio. And the first is you're going to want to upload your audio file. And of course to do that, you can go to the channel rack, press the plus icon, go to audio clip, and then you can select the audio clip and then the folder here, and you can find the clip that you want and then press open. And then you can drag that into your workspace. And once you have that uploaded, you're going to want to have a track available and a place on your channel rack to put the MIDI notes. And so what I have done here in the channel rack is I have a, a channel ready to go for FL keys, and that's where I'm going to dump the uh, MIDI notes. So whichever one of these that you have selected, it will dump the MIDI notes to. So to get started, you have your audio file here. And this is going to work with melodies mostly. Uh, most of the time, if you have anything that has chords, anything more than a single note at a time, this is not going to work very well. I have the melody of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. I'm going to click this small audio icon here. And once I have that selected, you can click on Edit Sample. That's going to bring up Edison. And once I have Edison open here, uh, make sure before you get through Edison, you have your channel selected in your channel rack that you want this to go to. So I have the keys ready to go. And once you're in Edison, you're going to want to press the tools icon here. And once you have that click, you can go to analysis, convert to score and dump to piano roll. So I'm going to click on that. And so there you can see that it converted it to a MIDI note and it's in the uh, channel that I want it to be in. So now that I have that, I can go ahead and X out of this. And so then you're going to want to click on your patterns. And of course, you can find your pattern here with the MIDI notes. This will show your waves or your MP3 files, your audio files. So click here and then you'll find the pattern that was created with that channel. And so now I can just click on this left click and drag into my project. And then I can drag it around to how I would like it. So you can see there are those are the MIDI notes for this audio file. And I'm going to go ahead and eliminate the audio file. And now I can have just the MIDI and so you can hear that. And you can see it did a pretty good job. You can always change the sound that you have. So I had it on a Rhodes, I think. Yes, yeah, so I have it on a Rhodes. And you can change it to a different sound on there. And any other instrument or synthesizer will work. One thing I wanted to point out is that if you have a very large audio file, you might not be able to do this. I had a an audio file that was about 20 minutes long, and it was a large file. And I got a warning saying that if I attempted to convert that to MIDI, that the uh, IFL Studio might crash, and it actually did crash. So if you have that issue, you might want to cut up that audio in FL Studio, export it into smaller audio bytes, and then you can import each individual audio if you have a very long melody that you want to import. So you now know how to convert an MP3 file or a WAV audio file to MIDI within FL Studio. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other FL Studio tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you and I'll see you in the next video.